launch pad at Satish Dhawan Space Center. Today's launch will be the fourth launch of ISRO this year. Two, one, zero. As we speak from the second launch pad of Satish Dhawan Space Center, this is a vehicle that's carrying NVS-01, a second generation navigation satellite of India. This is a satellite that meant to help India for navigation related purposes, navigation, timing and positioning. Big story on We All, World is One. Well, India's space agency, ISRO, has successfully launched the next-generation navigational satellite GSLV NVS-1 from the Sri Harikota in Andhra Pradesh. ISRO has uh, used its medium lift launcher to place the navigation satellite in its orbit. The satellite will be used for both civilian as well as military purposes. The NVS-1 is the first in the series of the second-generation navigation satellites built by ISRO's UR Rao Satellite Center in Bengaluru. This was India's space agency's fourth launch mission this year. So far in 2023, ISRO has launched its smallest rocket, SSLV, the most flown workhorse rocket, PSLV, and the heaviest rocket, the LVM-3, the GSLV rocket, is meant to place a 2,300 kilogram navigation satellite into the geosynchronous transfer orbit. The GTO is a temporary parking orbit into which the satellite will be hurled by the rocket, after which the satellite will independently use its onboard propulsion systems to perform orbit raising maneuvers and reach its intended orbit. And Zidat MP is tracking all the latest developments sent us this. We're coming to you from Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Harikota as India's fourth rocket launch mission of 2023 is underway. Uh, so we are coming to you at a time when the liftoff of GSLV, India's tallest rocket, this is a 420-ton rocket, almost 51 meters tall. This vehicle is uh, lifting off as we speak from the second launch pad of Satish Dhawan Space Center. So this is a vehicle that's carrying NVS-01, a second-generation navigation satellite of India. So NVS-01 weighs 2,223 kilos. So this is a satellite uh, that is actually meant to help India for navigation related purposes, navigation, timing and positioning. NBS-01, as we speak, is being taken to what is known as a geosynchronous transfer orbit. So geosynchronous transfer orbit is a temporary orbit where the rocket, uh, the satellite will be hurled almost 170 kilometers uh, at its closest approach from Earth and almost 35,000 kilometers at its farthest from Earth. And from GTO, what will happen is this uh, satellite will thereon use its onboard propulsion and thrusters to actually reach its final destination. This mission itself is expected to take a little more than 18 minutes before we know the outcome of the mission. Of course, this is a significant one because this is, uh, you know, the beginning of a new constellation for India in terms of navigation. NVS-01 is the first of five, uh, you know, navigation satellites of this kind. And this, of course, is a next generation satellite. What makes this special is the fact that ISRO's own indigenous atomic clock has been put on board this particular uh, satellite and atomic clock is a precise instrument and a very sophisticated one that is used to uh, measure time so uh, up to one billionth of a second it can measure precisely and even over a decade there is no variation in the kind of time that an atomic clock can measure so that's what makes this extremely special and we have to remember that over the next two years ISRO could launch as many as uh, four such satellites of the NVS series for meeting the country's uh, strategic needs and also civilian navigation requirements. With video journalist Aragar from Sri Harikota, Siddharth MP, Beyond World is One.